is a testing and specification framework for Java and Groovy. Spock tests are written in Groovy. Spock is compatible with most IDEs, build tools and continuous integration servers. And Spock is inspired from JUnit, JMock, Mockado, Groovy, Scala and other frameworks. Finally, Spock is available on this website. Now, Spock is a combination of libraries that contains unit testing, mocking, stubbing, business driven, business driven development. So all three are combined into one framework. So you don't have to develop additional libraries. On top of that, we will write code in Java, but we will test the code in Groovy language. So it will make testing even more simpler because everybody loves Groovy. And if you don't know Groovy, it's very easy to learn because you can write 90% of code in Java for Groovy. is combination of unit testing, behavior development, and mocking and stubbing libraries. So when you combine all these three, you get Spock uh, in the middle. So you don't need to download separate libraries, but everything is inbuilt in Spock. And as you see, uh, when we write our unit test cases, how Spock nicely integrates all these three frameworks into one framework. Now let's create a Java based project in Eclipse. First we'll click on file new and then select Maven project. Click on next. We'll just leave the defaults. We won't change anything. We'll just click next here. Same thing. We are not changing anything. Click next. For the group ID, we'll enter com.spock tutorial. And for artifact ID, we will enter chapter one, click finish. And there it is. We have our Java based uh, project template ready in Eclipse. Now we need to make sure that we are using the right Java version. For this tutorial, we are going to use Java 1.7 for Spock. Uh, so if you have any other Java version, we'll have to change it to 1.7 so for this project that we created we will look into the jre system library we will right click and select properties and then we will change the java version to 1.7 click ok then we'll click on right click and then we'll click properties and then we also have to select the java compiler and make sure that it's the right one and so we'll click on the Java compiler. And make sure that we have the right Java version and which is 1.7. You can also use 1.6 for both, but let's keep 1.7. We'll click apply and then we'll click yes over here and then we'll click OK. Now since we are working on a Maven based Java project, pom.xml is a very important component of our project. Let's see how a pom.xml will look like. So when we click on pom.xml, 
we just have to click on the pom.xml tab over here now you can download this pom.xml from my github account uh, in the link mentioned below so our pom.xml looks like this we have the group id and the artifact id which we had already typed in while creating this project template the project type packaging is jar currently we are not using any web based project uh, right now we are just testing java code another important component is the maven surefire plugin which runs the unit tests and we are telling the surefire plugin that all our files the test files will end with spec or test so when we write our test files it will end in spec then in the dependencies section we have the JUnit dependencies we have the Spock framework dependencies and we have the groovy dependencies now we don't necessarily have to include the groovy dependencies we have included the Spock framework dependencies and it comes with the groovy dependencies so we can remove that section if we want now only reason you might include the groovy dependencies like if you want Spock framework to test it with a particular groovy version number then only we will have to include the groovy dependencies so now let's so now this is how our pom.xml looks like now let's get started with our hello world first we'll write our java class so for that what we are going to do is first of all we're going to delete our app.java the template class that was created we're going to delete that then we are going to click on file new class and we are going to write a add.java class which will basically take two numbers submit and return the result um, a very simple add class which will help us understand spock uh, concepts uh, since it's a simple example of Java so we are going to write this class by we'll just take two numbers as input and we'll write the add method again uh, which will just add two numbers and return return the output as sum of two numbers now let's create the source package for or the source folder for our groovy test cases so there is our source folder and now we'll write our groovy test class which will end in spec and we'll call it as add spec now if you notice here our package is chapter one we'll have to rename that and we'll rename it to something similar to our source package where our source code resides we don't want like different package names across the board or package names that are not uniform across the board so we are going to see what our source package is it's called com spock tutorial chapter one so we're going to rename our test package to the same thing uh, it's not a necessity but i just like it to keep it uniform so we'll rename it to com spock tutorial chapter one We'll continue over here. Now let's write our add spec. First, we'll write the imports. First thing we're going to do is import our Java class that we wrote that we want to test. now we are going to import 
the spark libraries that we need notice we are not putting any semicolon because it is written in groovy so you can ignore the semicolon now we are going to extend our spec class to spark.lang.specification so that our add spec becomes a specification and the specification class is a runnable class by JUnit meaning that this class can act as a JUnit test uh, as far as the build tools are concerned that's why we need to extend all our test specs to this class now we will define the method and it's a string and you can write descriptive method names here uh, and then we have the when block where we write all our initialization condition like when we initialize a class we, we are going to initialize our add class over here and then we have the expect or the then block where we write all our conditions that we need to test and in this case we want to test our add method where we are passing to numbers and seeing if it's working correctly so all our test conditions we will be writing here so this is how our test structure looks like we have the method and then we have the when block where we initialize and then the then block where we write all our test conditions so we have two blocks here when and then uh, and then is more like the JUnit assert where we write our JUnit assertion conditions now let's run maven test so that all our test and java and everything compiles so we'll see here everything compiles successfully now we're going to right click on our test pack and run it as junit test and as you see here everything is green here we see the add to numbers method which was tested correctly and our spec class was tested and everything was green nothing failed now let's see what happens if we write a condition that fails now that was simple that 1 plus 2 is 3 but let's see 1 plus 2 is equal to 6 and we'll run it as maven test And like you'll see here the test failed and let's run that specific class to see why it failed and it's red and here it shows the condition why it failed like it's expecting three and that evaluation is false and we have uh, entered six so it gives us a line number and complete picture of why a specific test failed and that's what is a good thing about Spark. It gives us the complete picture when the test fails. And that's our basic hello world. In this video tutorial, we are going to look at the given block. Now given block is used when you want to initialize something like a class or a list or things like that. Then you will write that in uh, the given block. Uh, so in this example, we are, what we are going to do is just initialize a list and test the list class of Java. We are just taking a simple example so you get the Spark concept clear. So let's take a look at the given block. Now we are going to click on File, New, Other and groovy class so we are going to create a groovy class click next name would be list spec we'll click finish now what we are going to do is extend this class to spark.lang.specification and we will import our Spock libraries now we will start with the method name it's called testing list of java because that's what we are going to do in this uh, test specification and now we have the given block where we will do our initialization of the list and the label would be a empty list 
and we are initializing a list uh, integer list as a new array list and we don't need a semicolon and now we have the when block so when we do something on a list like we are going to add something add one to list so we have a given when I add one to the list then then what do we expect that situation will be inside the then block and we are checking the output in then and we'll have list dot get zero equal to one like the zeroth element will be one we know because we have only inserted one so now let's do a maven test and the test failed now why the test failed because we did not correct this in the previous test case so now let's run it again run as maven test and this time the build succeeded so now let's run it as junit test and see what we get so we have all our test cases or the test specs that succeeded the list pack the add spec and there's one more called app test over here but, so this app test is basically the template test case that was generated when we created our project so this is what the it's a it's a j unit test so with this example you know now that with this method you can test both j unit and groovy test cases at the same time and here is our list case that was tested everything is green so now you know how the given block works